living on ice floes. Stephenson has also been given up for dead, unheard from for over a year. In fact, Stephenson and his two companions are very much alive, riding the ocean currents in search of unknown lands. Stephenson was a super Eskimo, at least thought of himself as surpassing the Inuit. And the Inuit think that he's crazy to actually go out of sight and, and, and maybe dozens or hundreds of miles uh, just straight north on ice floes. It didn't make sense. Stephenson manages to defy logic and death. But after many grueling months on the ice, his body is exhausted, his mind spent, and Stephenson begins to curse his quest for land. Dark days lead to darker nights. He longs for the bright lights of Broadway, for his lost love. Dear Cecile, have you remembered me or the past? I would like to think of you as happy most of the time, but with an occasional day of lonesomeness like mine with thoughts of where I am. You did not write me last year. Did you think me dead? Nearly about to give up hope, Stephenson catches a glimpse of something on the horizon. Still prepared to believe that what had appeared on the horizon was a mirage, I climbed a hill and trying not to appear as excited as the others were, fixed my glasses on the northeastern horizon. There was no mistake in what I saw. It was land. New, uncharted land, stretching blue and white and tawny gray. 